Hi, I'm Mike. In ranching and farming, there are tons of traditions. Ask any farmer or rancher why they do something, the way that they do it, and you might just get the answer because that's the way my dad or my granddad did it. Today, we take a look at one of the greatest traditions that we have here on the ranch, and that's having fun and enjoying what we have on our Wyoming life. <laughs> October is here, and that means hunting season on the ranch. Pronghorn antelope are up for grabs as we have invited about 20 different hunters to visit throughout the entire month and try their hand at hunting them. It's not overly difficult, although they can be elusive, as Ron will tell you. Okay, hunting antelope can be a challenge, uh, whether it's opening day or the fourth or fifth day into the hunt. Um, I would say that the first couple days, however, it's uh, a little bit easier, uh, especially hunting uh, on, on actual opening day. Uh, the uh, antelope aren't too wise as to uh, what we're doing out there. Uh, for example, this year we were able to fill six tags on the first day and four on the second. And as each day goes on, it gets a little more challenging. Uh, they become wise to why we're out there, what we're doing. And so uh, we actually hunt instead of shoot but uh, we are able to fill our tags and enjoy ourselves at the same time as well as the challenge of the hunt. Ron is a part of our group of friends that we've met through ranching from Sacramento, California. For the past few years, they've been out here to hunt, but also to have fun. Here's the story of a couple of ranchers who had a You can go on YouTube right now and search for videos about hunting pronghorn antelope and you'll find hundreds. There are a lot of them, but very few will show the relationships that hunters build with ranchers just like Aaron and I. Over the years of having some of the same hunters here on the ranch, we've become like family. And although we only spend a few days with them, when they arrive, we feel like they're home. And when they leave, we miss them when they're gone. So we make the best of it. And some days, while they're out hunting, we're back home scheming. All of my good friends know that we laugh, we joke, and we have fun. We rib on each other. And if you give it, you'd better be able to take it too. The first few days these guys were here, I received a few phone calls. One saying that Justin fell in a hole and couldn't climb out of it. And the other advising me that we'd better call the game warden both pretty good pranks. In fact, they had me for a minute, but not as good as what I have planned, hopefully. This antelope decoy is used to catch poachers. It's on loan to me, and we're gonna use it to catch the hunters in what might be the most elaborately planned prank I've ever attempted. What makes this decoy great is that it's animatronic with a remote I can move its head from side to side and that lends just a little bit of realism to the whole thing. My plan is to put it in the barn, tie it off to a stall, and come up with some explanation for why I caught it and see what their reaction is and what they think we should do with it. Luckily it's a bit dark in here, which might help them fall for it, but not right now because they're heading out hunting and they won't be back for a bit. So when we get here, it's ready to, ready to go. We uh, mount up on our quads and in the truck and everything, and we go on out and we look around, trying to find where the antelope are out there. And when we find them, 
then we'll maneuver ourselves around in a way that they're not too wise to us being there, but we can get close enough that we can actually uh, go for it and uh, start shooting. Once they do arrive back for the day, it's time to start the story. So somebody might have to uh, go get another buck tag. Sorry, buddy. Big one? Uh, not huge, but stupid. Oh, we know that one. Oh, yeah. We know that. There's one right here. In the barn. In the barn? In the barn. All right. He walked. Hey, you can finally pet one, Greg. <laughs> yeah. He wants to know if the hair falls off of him. You can kind of peek at him. You can see him. Down there in that stall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Is there one in there? To the left. Yeah. Oh, where'd you get that from? Just wandered in? No No I guarantee you that's that stupid one. <laughs> Wandered up. Is it wow. even open? How do you get in there? Well, it's closed now because I closed it. I closed it once he got in, and then there's a rope around his neck. Is there really? I roped him, you and, and he's, on him? he's tied off to that fence there. I'm surprised he hasn't like killed himself yet. He hasn't yet. Does anybody want to go to town and get a buck tag and go <laughs> and take him? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and once the prank has pretty much run its course, then they can all meet their new mascot. Got one question for you. Do you want us to come back next year? What? <laughs> yes or no? Yeah, that's a good answer. And when the hunters head out the next morning, it's on to our next activity. Winter is just around the corner. This week we're forecast for 8 to 12 inches of snow. And with both Aaron and I rushing around to get ready for winter, there's one more tradition, a brand new one, that can't be ignored. And that is the burning of the summer hat. Signifying the return of winter and another season behind us. Now last year, we burned it. This year, let's step it up a notch. With the help of our neighbor and friend Nick, this year it's gonna be Tannerite that disposes of the hat. Detonated by a bullet, this stuff is normally used to make long distance targets explode. Today, it's gonna take out a pumpkin and welcome winter here on the ranch. All right guys, time for a moment of truth. Summer hat, say goodbye to it as we switch over to winter time here in Wyoming. If the hat stays on the pumpkin. It's a good way to bring on the snow. One last summer blast. Here we go, hat is done for, black hat's on, and winter's here. We're gonna get him. Soon, <laughs> all the fun is over, and it's time well, to break out yeah. the stories. On, huh, yeah, that was awesome. Man, what a year. Awesome. That, that third day of hunting, 
well, that was probably the funnest day of hunting I've ever had, and didn't bag a damn thing. Yeah, exactly. We worked our butts off that day, man. It was that was that was some exciting stuff tracking that that group of them That's for right. about three or four hours. Hey, we saw him walking down through the center of the field, and Justin kind of wrapped around, and then we went up to the top of the hill. Yep. And he kind of wandered right towards us, but he was a little too far for us. Well, he was in perfect and, position. Uh, that plan worked out because we wanted to cut him off if we got in front of him and send him that way. And that yeah. worked, it worked perfectly. Yeah, we were doing mist and the fog and the snow. Strong uh, winds. Strong winds. Man, we, we, we had some difficult shots. Well, we had all four seasons. Yeah, we year. did. We did. It was 82 <laughs> degrees. 82 degrees on uh, Tuesday. And one day we're hunting snow in short and, sleeves, yeah. and the next day we're in. You know, Arctic parkas. I mean, it's freezing, yeah. go and snowing. When Mike suggested that we blow the uh, blow the hat up with uh, with some tannerite, it was like, oh, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> it's like, yeah, baby, we get to have us some fun here. But he's got the time off. We're all set. And then bam, it's here. We get to see Aaron and Mike and the kids, our, our Wyoming family. And then just like that, it's gone. Yeah. But not forever. Another year is just around the corner and our Wyoming life moves on. Tradition comes in many forms. Maybe we sell cows and calves where we do because that's where Gilbert always sold them. We put up our own hay because that's the way it's always been done around here. But we also create our own traditions too. Looking forward to continuing those traditions is what helps keep me going. The ranch itself is a big one, and that's why I wouldn't change it for the world. Can we make things better? Always. But the underlying message is still there, and that's what matters. Now last year, when we burned the hat, we had a ton of comments asking why we did it. And I hope that now this makes it just a little bit clearer. And for those who thought that I should have given it away, well, I have a special treat for you. This hat, which I bought before I went to Dallas, is a carbon copy of the hat that we just blew up, which is right here. <laughs> this one's in much better shape. I would love to be able to send this hat to you. All you have to do is enter to win it. Check out the description below for a link to get yourself in the running for this practically brand new Stetson straw hat. The size is seven and a quarter, if that matters to you. And I hope that you can wear it and get as much done in it as I have. The black hat is back on for winter. And that means a whole new season here on the ranch. We're gonna be selling calves soon, the one paycheck per year. Soon we'll also be checking to see who is pregnant and who's not. And as winter continues, we're gonna begin feeding hay, all that hay that we had to buy this year. The cycle continues and I hope you subscribe and continue to follow along with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Join us on Tuesday as we tackle the project list once again, this time probably in the snow. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. Until next time, have a great week. And thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life. You want a question from him? No. Andy, what's for dinner? Is it antelope? Oh, damn it. Hunters call the ranchers. And now they seem to grow. And this group became a family. That's the way we all became the hunter bunch. Hi, I'm Mike. In ranching and farming, there are lots of <laughs> Don't do this at home. <laughs> That's the way we became the Hunter Bunch. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Oh, kill something? All right. You can keep that. Oh, that's freaking awesome, man. <laughs>